Okay, we're back in it. All that's left to do for today is get our health back up and beat the shit out of Forminoyan for killing our father. Obviously. Uh, pharmacy, pharmacy. No. Uh, fuck, I'm stuck in a death loop. What do I do? Fuck. Is there really nothing I can do? What a nightmare. Do I have all my quests done at least? Where the hell am I? Okay. I guess I'll be right back again. Hmm. I used to go out in the night only to be found someplace new in the morning. There is one final thing left to be done. The saddest and the most essential. I cannot escape it. And happiness. Happiness demands self abnegation, does it not? You're scaring me. Maria is coming into power. The polyhedron will cease to be the Republic of Children soon. The toy will finally go back to its original purpose. And young Casper feels it. He's hesitating. I want to extend a friendly hand to him. And I need a middleman for that. What? Tell him that I propose an alliance. In ten years. And he knows full well that this is how long it will take for my chapel to be built. He will have my hand. I will become his wife. And we will end the age-long conflict of our families. So you found yourself a lucrative match already, haven't you? This is no laughing matter. I do not love Khan. I doubt I ever will. He is heartless. He is a cane. A kind. Will you do what I'm asking of you? Will you do what I'm asking of you? How am I supposed to get to Khan? They won't let me in. You are on good terms with the bachelor, are you not? He fawns upon you a lot anyway. The Utopians respect him. He knows how to get there. Are you absolutely committed to doing this? Yes. Okay, I'll do as you say. I have a feeling that our choices were a part of some crafty maneuver. I almost fell for it. I need to get inside the tower, Oinon. Tell me how to do that. Ah, so you two have decided to defend that jewel with your life, haven't you? A worthy choice. It makes me happy to see you've come to it. I haven't. I don't care for the tower whatsoever. Then there is nothing I can help you with. Fine, I'll side with you. In that case, just say fortified to the dog head, to the dog, to the dog head guards. It's a password. Maria's told it to me. Okay. By the way, seems like Maria has fallen out of favor with her little brother. So if the password doesn't help, just tell them that I'm planning to save the polyhedron and that I'm counting on you to help me with this. They'll definitely let you in then. Okay. Sorry, but I have to get back to work. But who is my sacrifice then? I don't know. I think it's all superstition anyway. Without a sacrifice, they won't give me the blood that the serum requires. I must choose the right one. Why don't you ask openly? Let the foreman tell you what he wants from you. He wants me to guess. Well, intimidate him then. I haven't seen the foreman, I don't know what type of person he is, but I think that a solid threat can convince anybody. Intimidate him. How? 
kind give me a hint today. Seems like the foreman had something to do with your father's demise. Big Vlad is also in on it. Didn't he tell you? Yes, I already know. What does Maria Kainia say? She seems to be the one in charge now. Hmm. So, on to the polyhedron, I guess. Or maybe let's save in case we fall to our deaths. Hi, dog heads. What do you want, Brock? Fortified. All right. You may come in, but only to see the leader. No sidetracking. How do you people manage to not to fall down from here? Well, hi, Khan. Why are they acting so girlish to me? Who are you? My name is Artemy Brock. Why have you come? Are you here on my sister's behalf? No, on Capella's. The old Gimski girl? Curious. I had a feeling she might make a move. Sooner or later our paths had to cross. So, what is she up to? She wants to strike an alliance with you. Children's alliances are not worth a dime. Is she willing to become my wife in five years? To submit to me? She is. In ten years, though. They say traces of blood were found by the polyhedron. My dogheads claim they belong to the soldiers' victims, but I think they're lying. Tell me the truth. Are there really soldiers down below? There are. Tell the Og the, 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 the. Tell the Olgimsky girl that I shall come. Let it be so. The proud Capella made the first move, and so she will have my support. She offers to strike an alliance, and we accept her offer. You have my word. Farewell, Khan. So goes the world. Capella is smarter than me, but she is nothing without military support. Time will tell, Kine. Should we go back to Capella now? Probably. The spirit will bow before that power. The bachelor knows how to get the in inside this wretched tower. He has been to the very bowels of it, which is something I do not require. I only need to go as far as the threshold. The Kynes are plotting something. They are, large, they are a large family, and each one of them wants to live by their own will. It seems that both Capella and the Bachelor know of the intrigue these powers games entail, whereas I don't give a damn. Casper Kind doesn't look a pleasant fellow. I wonder what this hero will be like in ten years' time. He has potential, but it suggests he should be held on a short leash. I can go back to Capella now. I wonder, is Khan one of my bound? I, I don't remember how to check it. Oh, I wonder what the Inquisitor has to say. Well, we are already here. So? Reminiscions rarely fail me. Did you find out how to acquire the blood? They're expecting a sacrifice. What kind of sacrifice? A proportional one. I don't know what can be proportionate to the town. Maybe there are other ways to get the blood. I have no idea. Have you heard the legend of blood puddles that appear by the polyhedron base from time to time? Children stop playing and become gloomy when that happens. They think it's a bad omen. A legend? How real is this one? Who can tell me more? The foreman can probably tell you more about this. Then I'll find out everything today. The time has come. You have to choose for yourself. I don't want to push you. Any word that escapes my lips now will turn against us in the end. What kind of sacrifice do they expect from me? I don't want to talk about this. Barbarity, this savagery, this superstition. Is it possible to get the blood without making a sacrifice? Why do you care so much? I want to stop the plague. 
I want to use your panacea to save the infected. And that means we need a lot of panacea, wouldn't you agree? I see. The winter comes soon, I hope. The town will change so much in ten years' time. You have Ken's consent. It didn't take him long. That means he will leave the tower tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. And so will his minions. You know how to make a lot of panacea already, don't you? You can count on me. Allow me to thank you. You will assume authority over the kin soon. If everything goes well, and I assume authority over the town, we will rule together, you and I. Cherish my gift. Let it bring the soft memories back to life. The memories of the little girl that I used to be. Thank you. It all ends tomorrow. A single day can change a lot. I can sense it almost nothing now. I can sense almost nothing now. Are my fosterlings fine? Can the mutineers kill the Inquisitor? If Aglaia Lilich falls, even destroyed by petty scheming, we won't be able to protect the town. Don't you worry about a thing. She gave me a necklace. Capella's necklace? There's a peculiar smell on the outside. Necklace of the Mistress of Light. Before it was passed on to Capella, it was worn by Victoria Olgumskaya. The necklace is carved from the bones of massive animals that no longer live in this land. Okay, so I guess it's a special necklace, but it... <sighs> it's useless to me. Oh, so the matchmaking was a success. Capella moved the final figure on the board. A sad move. She was clearly trying to pick the lesser of two evils. It's strange how calm and collected the lad was, as if he always knew that was going to happen. Is it true that you killed my father? <laughs> yes. And so you die. Yeah, let's kill this bitch. Oh fuck. I wasn't anticipating this. Okay, this is just like the butchers. This is just like the butchers. You die! Die, bitch! Motherfucker! <laughs> just a couple hits. No! It's kind of like beating him to the beat, you know? It's kind of fun. <laughs> no! Oh, he fell! I didn't even have to do that fucking stupid quest! Ha ha ha! Bitch! Who's the foreman now? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> nice! How do they call upon the Manku, the faithful of a warden kin? Known by their hands, for they are butchers. Known by their eyes, for they are surgeons. Known by their deeds, for they follow the lines. Freezing within the burial hall, silent at the threshold of non-existence. The kin do not greet the worthy warden. If only you arrived earlier. Oyun, the unworthy warman, proved to be a disproportionate sacrifice. Fuck yes. He he he. I just had to speak to him again. <laughs> I cracked the system. And I'm done. 
We beat his ass. Ah, it feels so good. It's still pretty early in the day, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly, I'd just rather sleep for the rest of the day. Um... I guess we can leave through here. Oh, what's the word on the street? Is no one preparing for the evacuation? It is the truth they say about the world transforming. Yes, sir. It will transform, surrendering our mortal coils devoured by the soil to build a brave new world, all shimmering and gleaming, and we'll become the ground from which the joy will grow and bloom and fume its odor sweet. Hopefully you will live to see it. Don't be too fast to bury yourself. No, we shall perish soon. We ragged freaks had it coming. There is no place for us in the new world. We're obsolete. A mentality like this definitely spells doom. Oh, sweet, sweet bandages. Mm. Lovely. Okay, Aglaya, anything to say now after I've killed the fucking foreman? Nope. A bandit, yes. I fight. Here I am, come on. Here I am, come on. Come on, I'm here. Look at me. Oh yes! Finally! Oh, I'm so excited. Let's use it. <laughs> oh, I've missed this so much. Hi, girl. Five. Another lockpick. Yes! Was there something you wanted to tell me? A girl named Clara was looking for you. She said she wanted to propose a path to salvation to you. Oh, by the way, do you know what she? Do you know that she collects people's souls and demands they sign the contracts with blood? No, I didn't know that. Well, why is she doing that? Oh, it's all very complicated, and it makes me very uncomfortable. Everyone's afraid of a man eater for a reason, you know. I think she strikes a deal with them so that they would allow her to use their bodies posthumously somehow, to save everyone. Is that so? And do people agree? She has about a dozen signatures, I think, but she needs 30 or 40, something like that. She says that she'll be able to arrange a happy ending for everyone then. Oh my, I'll do best to intervene before she succeeds. <laughs> Good house. Let's go over to a house like this. Sweet. Oh, look at a cute lemon. Oh, but he sees me. Can't take the lemon. No! You're not gonna mind if I just come in again. <laughs> there we go, now we got another lemon. We're stock full with stuff. We're stocked up. I guess the bachelor is the closest when it comes to a place to sleep. <laughs> Look at all this stuff! I'm so happy! Oh my god, three houses in a row! This is so good! So, have you made a decision? About what? It's high time we make choices. As for me, before the artillery starts firing, I'm packing my belongings and leaving this town, having grabbed some people I want to save. 
I could have found my own solution, but I don't have the time. What would your solution be? I could make them destroy the settlement along with the ball project, yet the polyhedron would remain. Block assured me he'd fire a strike so precise that the other shore of the Gorkon wouldn't be scathed. The river will swallow the plate, he said. The people will die if we destroy the town. Oh, look around. There's no one left alive except for the two of us. The infected ones don't count. They have less than 24 hours to live in any case. I could at least help them. Really? Then could you please make it so that I could show up to the council and present the commander with arguments in favor of the following arrangement? The corrupt town disappears from the face of the earth and the polyhedron stays. It's a septic and... Damn it, it's simply worthy of preserving. What do you need to do so? Not a lot, but not little either. I'll come to the cathedral on the condition that I am certain of the survival of the people to whom I'm about to devote my time. Are you willing to help me there? I'll try to do something. How can I recognize your confidence? I wrote to you about them the other day, but in any case, but in case you lost the letter, I'll tell you how to spot them. They all want one thing, and that's to preserve the marvelous tower. Nothing else ma matters to them. Wait for me. You look unhealthy. Time's almost up. I don't give a damn. I might refuse to choose anyway. The final proceedings. Today is the last day. The choice has to be made. Only the bachelor will be able to convince the chess queens that the utopian solution is the right choice. Before he attends the final council in the cathedral, he will have to make sure that his bound are alive. They are Georgie, Victor, and Maria Kaina, Kaina as well as Peter and Andrew Stamaton. Yeah, in the letters he probably wrote to me. The Bachelor, proof of Aglaia's deceit. Aglaia Lilich made fools of us all. Both of us were pawns in her terrifying maneuver. That's the way it is. Ask her yourself. Block and I have, er, have her cornered. We have completely disarmed her, so she has no choice but to confess. My dear Barak, she is your sacrifice. I don't think it is all necessary to slit her throat with your own knife. You see, if the town is destroyed, the head of Aglaia Lilich will be separated from her shoulders in less than a day. It has transpired that this cold situation affords her a stay of her death warrant. If she presents the town entirely purged of any disease to the powers that be, she is granted pardon. The issue is, it's impossible. The disease has soaked the town. It keeps rising up from the very roots of it. It is dou doubly deplorable that when she deceived you, she didn't merely save her life. She pursued her own purpose too, which is to destroy the polyhedron. The disease can be destroyed only if we destroy the town. There is no other option. By your own reasoning, I cannot be wrong about it, can I? Please, take this into consideration if you come to the cathedral. Bachelor Dankowski. On how your precious Aglaia Lilich lied to you. Your sacrifice is Aglaia Lilich. I don't know how exactly you're supposed to kill her, but there's little doubt that the offering is her. I am telling you this in my capacity as the true mistress. Treat this as the first of my prophecies. This is the truth. The reason why Aglaia Lilich deceived you was that she wanted to save her own life. Don't try to prevent the destruction of the town. By this, the prophecy will be fulfilled and the kin will accept you. Ask her yourself. I doubt she has what it takes to deny it. It's probably from Clara. And a letter from the woman of the hour, Aglaia Lilich, tomorrow's council. This is to remind you of the council tomorrow. Commander Block and I have reached an agreement. He will hear out any reasonable suggestion of how the town may be saved. Owing to your efforts, we have a suggestion, don't we? After that, we will hear out the mistresses. The young Olgimsky girl and Maria Kaina were invited. I guess Katerina will tag along. Are you in any way related to Capella? She says she will lend her support to our cause. Is she all right? We won't be able to resolve the proceedings without the mistresses. They are the guarantee of the town's obedience. Those wielding emergency authority will leave soon enough, and the mistresses will remain. It isn't possible to keep the town in submission unless the population behaves. Quiet, as to not evoke the ever-present death, the threat of death. P.S. Block doesn't know that we've met or exchanged letters. He also doesn't know of our friendship with Capella. This could be important. I put my trust in you. Yours, A.
Oh. Oh no, that was just a sound effect. Oh. Well, let's see what this guy's all about first. You are too early. The queens will be deciding upon the fate of the remains of this wretched town at 7 o'clock. As for now, the cathedral is closed. I want to speak to Aglaya Lilich. She is undoubtedly eagerly, equally eager to see you. But you will meet her at 7 o'clock and not a minute earlier. New powers have come into play now. The powers that even a government inquisitor cannot oppose. We are only doing their bidding. What powers? You'll find that out. If every person whose life has been in your hands for the last 12 days has a chance to say a word before the council. They'll all be fine by evening. Okay. What is Fukui? <laughs> You're gonna have to withstand my dog snoring in the background. I don't have the heart to move her. <laughs> so, we'll have to fight for power in a couple of years, you and I, right? I wonder how that'll go. You'll be old already, though. Are you already thinking about out outsting me from power? Ain't you a quick clad? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Khan is the one I'm really after. Oh, that's the guy I'll have to meet head on. Khan will grow to inspire true terror. Has he really abandoned the ways of his family? Who could have thought? Nina's son t switching faith? What does he believe in now, by the way? Let's start with you. What are you studying up for? I'm not sure yet. The balance is constantly shifting. The disposition of forces will be different. It won't be like the previous standoff between termites and the utopians. Capella has already considered everything. It's good that she's tamed Khan. We are sick and tired of utopias. Let's build a new world, a better one. I can already see the seeds of future rebellion in you. It's you who'll become the new utopian, Notkin. Okay, let's not say that. I don't I don't really believe that. I hope you won't forget my role in establishing the new disposition. Damn, I've been recording for quite some time now. This is gonna be a long episode. But I'm so close to the end, I just want to see how it ends. They'll have to stitch my belly back together. Will you stay with us? Yes, I'll stay here and won't ever leave this place. What are you looking at? Well, <laughs> what for? A lot of things will change. I will actually stop living here. I'll have my own house. A house? The rod. I am destined to become the mistress of the earth. Katerina has failed, and I won't. That's what Capella says. Why do you think you'll succeed where Katerina has failed? Capella knows that for sure. She can see the future. In ten years I'll become a tall and slender beauty. I'll have white skin and dark ankle long hair. Or even longer. I will speak with the earth. Perhaps even command it. I wish you good luck, Murky. Take care of yourself. My path was my namesake. It was called Capello. Were it not for the plague, I would have spread a heathen cult among the children. Then Terence would have lived forever. Hmm. I would not have lived to see today if not for you. Now, if my design works, I will be able to revive the town. I am grateful to you, Warden. I'll never forget it. What is your plan? The outcast children who have left the polyhedron will establish a new town. They will become new mistresses and rulers. They will lay down a new triangle of powers and beginnings. This time, it will stand firmly on its base rather than trying to balance on one of the vertices. Why did you choose the outcasts? It's not a cause, it's an effect. They have left the polyhedron because their fate lies elsewhere. Prisoners of dreams can build, but they cannot rule. Moreover, you have to be resolute, mature, and independent to break free from childhood. Only the most outstanding childr children can do it. I've heard you wanted to found a new religion. I don't. You still fail to grasp who mistresses are. So do the children. 
which is why they keep talking about a religion. Can religion be invented by a man? It's not a game. Yes, it's not a game. Tell me, will you stay with us? Will you rule the kin like your father was supposed to? Yes, I'll stay with you. Yes. Thank you. I need to live a little longer. There's one more thing that has to be done. My death will not be purposeless now. What kind of thing? I am to perform the most ferocious feat of all. The most precious feat of all. The feat of self-sacrifice. I will do what Simon has done. Every single particle of my body and soul will become a life-bearing, bursting with life and granting it to others. There will be no cannon fire. The town will continue to grow. The threat, the threat to the future will stretch from the very dawn of time. Do you really believe that it can be done? We are too few now, but there's at least a dozen of us. It will be enough for the town to expand further and beyond. Hopefully the place where daydreams are captured and fulfilled to will, leave, will live to see 200 years more. And how many of those like me have survived? I don't care. I wanted to save your life, not for the sake of future sacrifices. I'm gonna have my own ending. And it's not going to include Clara in it. They don't trust me. Like I don't know what to do. Capella and I owe you so much. I am only alive because of you, aren't I? Tell me, why does Capella need you? I will, blah, blah, blah. I will replace the second mistress. That means Capella thinks I'll manage to. She says I'm shining bright, but unlike hers, my glimmer isn't thick, but rather transparent and very pale. What for? Each of us will tug the power in our own direction. She'll dug a bit upwards, and I'll tug downwards. We'll tune life together, opposing each other, like Nina and Victoria before, but not for real. Moreover, I'll help her make the lines into a circle. At least, that's my understanding. I hope you'll manage. It's so strange to me that everything is normal now. It's like the 12th day in Pathologic 2, but like, different. I don't know. Oh my god, it's so weird. I'm... I'm done. I... there's no more threats. I'm... I'm... at the threshold of victory. I feel so... happy, I don't know. It's just it's such a relief. Hey. Feels like I'm sleeping. I'm alive, and it's you who made it so. Thank you, thank you. Does that mean you'll be helping me from now on? <laughs> who told you that? Capella did. You'll become the foreman and the most important person in the kin now. Everyone will follow your words like they did with Dad. And I'll always be at your side so that you know that we're all together and the kin loves you. That's what she promised me. Why are you so happy? You are the only one they listened to before. What do you think happens now? I'll step aside a bit, but I'll help you and connect you with everybody. I won't bother with the new mistresses, even though I really want to. It's all Capella's design, even though I don't really get it. Is it she who told you all this? Yes. She also said there will be four nodes instead of three from now on. The fourth one is me, standing aside. A bit. Well, I mean, there always must have been four nodes, but no one noticed that before. I think things will be better now than they used to be. I hope so. Hmm. That's interesting, because, like, we do have the three powers, which are the utopians, the termites, and then the fucking i don't know the sacrifices the humbles yeah but what about the kin you know that's like a huge chunk of the town what about them 
are they who who do they side with I think that's the fourth node I think it might be and well Taya is the one to rule over them alongside me now apparently hey sticky boy my path was called the last vampire I would have surely caught the weird albino if it not for the plague <laughs> albino <laughs> you're so cute what would we do without your help that means you'll be just like your father by the time we grow up <laughs> when you come of age i'll only be in my 40s <laughs> sure you sure old man what are you planning to do with your life i will be the axis for the wheel to spin around a future ruler with a new sign I trust Capella. A new sign? What do you mean? The kind old Gimski Sabro of Triangle is over. There are no more termites, utopians, or humbles. Hmm. The three powers are gone almost without a trace now. They're nothing but memories now. We need new forces and new signs. The old rulers are gone. Except for you. Will you protect our little town until we come of age? I'll protect it after you come of age too. Don't get ahead of yourself. This joint won't break. It's made of metal. Peter! Oh no, I guess... I guess the bachelor will have to do without my help. I can't, like, save both Georgie and Peter with one panacea, so... I can't believe I didn't get a single schmauder this time. Like at this like at at the point of the fifth day in the bachelor campaign, I already had like three schmauders. From like side quests and from trading. Why was it so hard to get any heat this time? Hmm. Today is the final day. You have less than 14 hours to make the right choice. Day 12, in which it finally becomes apparent what it was all about. Well, that doesn't sound foreboding at all. <laughs> Clara's letter. I know you are interested in pairs, oppositions, and other meaningful similarities, so let me remind you of something. The first pair should be read as follows. If the Udurg your father spoke of is the town, then the polyhedron is your sacrifice. There is no other way, since the two are correspondent to each other. Crush the polyhedron, and rivers of blood will flow, the underground ichor emerging from within the hollow rod on which the tower stood. The second pair means, if Aglaia is your sacrifice, then Simon is your Udurg. In this case, you have no other choice but to protect the polyhedron. I am staying in the left wing of the termitary. Come and see me if you please. My plan is the only one that is feasible. Nothing will have to die. Fuck that, I'm not talking to her. See ya! I'm getting my ending and I'm choosing what to do on my own. The polyhedron can go fuck itself. You are too early? Okay. <laughs> what was that? God, that scared me so much. I Oh my god. What? 7 o'clock? But it is 7 o'clock! Do you mean 7 p.m.? Oh my god. What if we just sleep until then? Hmm? Locke's letter. Artemy Burak, if what I am told is right, you must be the only physician of some moral integrity in the town. You are the only one to have avoided any dealings with the wretched Inquisitor, a fact all the more confirmed by her trying to give me the opposite impression. 
I am somewhat confused, so I believe the best I can do is to go with your decision, whatever it is. The proceedings are to begin at 7 in the cathedral. Before 6.30 you may find me at the town hall. Alexander Block, 4th Army Commander. My head is spinning. Okay, let's see, Block. Ugh. Ugh, all right. I guess... Uh, let's end this on... Let's end this here. I need to go. Um, but next episode, it all ends. See you.